Got a super fun one for you today. This is Jacob Collier's Audience Choir, and it's all recordings that he made with his audience at all these different locations of his concerts, and they put it into a contact instrument that you get to play with, and it's free. And I'm a huge Jacob Collier fan. He just makes his music the way he wants with the extreme intelligence that he has and creates something that everybody can enjoy. It's just an amazing thing. Anyways, he's coming to Vancouver. That'll be the first time I see him at that show. And I can't wait to see what he does. It'll just be an incredible experience. But let's just play around with the software and see what this free thing is all about. So I will be showing this on the Complete Control Mark III keyboard. Also would work on the Complete Control Mark II keyboard. And you don't need any keyboard to work with this. Just enter notes in by hand on your uh, program of choice. We've got... <laughs> You can see what's happening here. When I play a note, you can actually see the locations where that note is from. It sounds amazing, except for maybe that one dude in Sydney. It sounds a little, little out of tune, but man, this is so cool. So, so let's go and just add some reverb to this. It's amazing how well the voices are blending, considering that they are from such different locations. So there was a little bit of magic going on with that, I'm sure. Who knows what kind of microphone setup they had on the stage. If you were at one of these shows and singing, let me know, because I'd love to know if your voice is on this library. So you can see on the software too that we can go from ah to mm to ooh to e. So let's, let's move around this little square here. And of course you could just drag that with your mouse. But if you have the fancy keyboard, we can hit this edit button and now we can see movement of X and Y. And let's go back and add a little bit more reverb. And we can go over to this next page and choose what type of reverb we've got. Black hole, that sounds fun. Wow. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so we'll go back over to our X and Y and take our, our Y axis and pop it up to them. Beautiful, okay. Check this out. If we hit this little play button right here, now it's going to automate bouncing around this X, Y axis between the M's and the O's. So if I press play, that is so cool. So if I, if I change this now to A, E, U, A, and I have the play button on, And then if I also take my playback speed and do it two times. So you can see how that's working with the tempo of your project. Very cool. And you can obviously turn the loop so it goes over and over again. It's really cool stuff. Okay. What happens if we go to a user preset? Oh, I record. I don't have a manual for this. So uh, let's try this out. I'm going to hit record. See if that worked. Hit the play button. Perfect. Okay. Very cool. What else can we do with this thing? Well, we can turn on a chord generator. Cool, so there you go. You just do your one, five, six, four, and you get the full chord, major or minor, depending on, you know, which scale degree you're on.
let's look at what else we have on the keys themselves. So we have all the choir sounds, and then up top we've got, okay, we've got some stomps and claps. And I've got way too much reverb on right now, so let's just leave that first choir the way it is. And let's go to another track of this and just play around with the stomps and claps. So we kind of got two stomps, two claps, a snap, a yeah. Awesome. Okay, and then I don't know, let's go see what else we've got in here. Let's pull up another one and uh, see what's on the upper keys. Okay, interesting. So that, this expression slider on the side here is giving us our major or minor triad. And this seems to be independent of the ahs, mms, oohs, etc. Huh. Okay, thanks Native Instruments for sending us this free instrument. Can't wait to see what other people do with it. But I'm just gonna play out this little beat and make sure you go catch Jacob Collier next time he's in town. It looks like an experience that is just kind of one in a lifetime and hopefully more than once in a lifetime. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell if you're new here. I'll see you in the next video.